d'un homme e book the deep. Continuité d'homme. Well, here we are. Cisco skins have not exactly been doing very good recently. It is no concern of mine whether your family has... What was it again? Um, food? Ha! You really should have thought of that before you became peasants. Lord Gaben hasn't really been looking out for us. If we take a look at common liquids like this op asthma, for example, you can see that it was kind of stable a couple months ago. It was sort of rising a little bit, but it was kind of just overall remaining stable. But however, if you go ahead and look at the second half of the graph, as you can see, things have just sort of been going in this pathetic sort of downward ramp very slowly. Naturally, this isn't exactly a great sign for the market because it's sort of a long-term decline rather than a short-term drop. And this doesn't really happen all that often in the CSGO marketplace, but we'll be talking about that after today's sponsor. Speaking of buying on the dip, buying from Skinport is essentially always buying on the dip because it's always going to be cheaper than the Steam community market. As you can see here, the prices are going to be a lot cheaper, up to 30% or even more compared to the Steam community market. Skinport has tons of other great features too, like a variety of payment methods, an easy withdraw system with no hidden fees, and of course they also have a huge inventory with over 150,000 skins available. They have a great Trustpilot rating, so there's nothing untrustworthy happening here. If you want to go ahead and check out Skinport's massive inventory and cheap prices, just be sure to click the link in the description below. Thanks. So yeah, it's definitely unusual to see this long, drawn-out decline that's currently happening. However, there's definitely a good explanation for why it's occurring, and so we do at least know probably why it's happening. One factor, of course, is that summer is ending and people are going back to school, and because there's a lot of kids that ignore the 17-plus rating of the game, there are a lot of kids that are going back to third grade. <laughs> <sighs> and these kids are no longer able to spend hundreds of dollars from their mom's credit card on AK-47 Fire Serpents. Plus, most of the supply is currently in Afghanistan anyway, so there's not really a whole lot of buying power happening here. Another factor, of course, is the demonetization virus, but that's pretty self-explanatory. Some people talk about the player count, but frankly, in a long-term sense, we're actually doing fine on players. However, even though the player count in a general sense is good, there are still a lot of people leaving, which is probably a factor for why the prices are not rising very much. So what about the long-term prospects? What could make CSGO's player count skyrocket and subsequently increase the market and pull us out of this dump? Well, for starters, there's winter time. Winter time is going to be very good for basically any digital market out there because there's going to be a lot of people that are off from school and a lot of money flowing into the economy from Christmas. If you need proof of this, just look at the Roblox market during Christmas time. That stuff goes absolutely absolutely crazy inflated. So wintertime and Christmas could definitely pull us to raising prices. Another thing that we can't really count on as much is a new operation. As you can see by Shattered Web and Broken Fangs player counts, a new operation brings a ton of people into the game and brings a ton of economic activity as well. There's also new skins in the game that are really great investment opportunities, so even if the old skins are not rising during a new operation, there is always new opportunities. Other than that, there's not really a whole lot of opportunity for economic advancement in the CSGO market until one of those two things happens. Obviously there is a fall sale that occurs for Steam, but that's not really too big of a deal, and there's not really a whole ton of people that are super interested in that, like the summer sale or like the winter sale. So to sum this all up, basically if there's no new operation and if the winter sale flops, then the Cisco market is probably not going to do very good. So send your prayers to the Lord above, because otherwise we might be screwed. So now that you know the factors that could pull us out of the dip that we're currently in, is it a good idea to invest in this dip? Well as for operations, if we take a look, Operation Broken Fang happened about nine months after Operation Shattered Web. It's already been three months since the end of Broken Fang, and so that means six months from now will be February 25th, 2022. Operation release dates aren't exactly equidistant though, so it could be more or less time between the next operation and now. So in that regard, it's more of a shot in the dark. We know that there's probably going to be an operation sometime in the future, we just don't know when. As for the winter sale, we don't know the exact day, but we do know it's going to be in December for sure. And of course, we know Christmas is going to be December 25th. So as long as there's enough demand for CSGO skins around that time, there probably will be a quite a bit of inflation during the winter time, and that can cause the market to go back into rising prices. Obviously, stuff is going to crash back down afterward, but it'll still be a pretty good thing to see. So the next question is, what do you buy? What do you buy to make sure that you can actually take advantage of this inflationary period that could happen over Christmas time? Well, for starters, liquids are a pretty safe bet. Kids are going to tend to get around $50 Steam cards or so for Christmas, and so that's going to put them in the range of buying AK Red Lines, Frontside Misties, Op Asimovs, those kind of things. 
for the kids with wealthier parents, they're probably going to go for something like a low-tier knife or a mid-tier knife, something like a flipped Damascus steel just going off the top of my head. So basically, to take advantage of the Christmas time inflation, you're going to want to kind of think in that direction. As for investing for a new operation, the majority of the economic activity is happening around the new skins that release and not really around the old skins that are already in the game. So if a new operation is the next time that there's going to be economic activity in a large upward sense for CSGO, you're probably just going to want to focus on getting new operations skins and waiting until that operation actually happens. Basically, if you plan to invest with the operation in mind, you're not going to want to buy anything right now, you're just going to want to go ahead and wait. However, a new operation does cause some degree of general economic upwardness, so there is still going to be options you can buy right now that are going to be good options for if an operation does occur. In this regard, there's not really any wrong answer. The whole market tends to go up in general just because there's a lot more people joining the game, and so pretty much every skin is going to get some degree of love. However, again, liquids are probably going to be the safest bets, and then something a little bit more risky that could see larger rises would be something like uh, Cato 15 stickers, for example. I actually think regardless of a new operation or of the winter sale being the factor that drives the market back upward, I do think Cato 15 stickers are still going to be a very good option in general, and I do still think they have a long way to go. I think they're actually pretty cheap right now. So if you're looking for something to buy right now and you don't really want to invest just for inflation during the winter time, then maybe just go for some Cato 15 stickers. The second manipulation wave that I talked about in some previous videos looks like it's it's either not going to happen or it is just delayed and is going to happen later. But right now the prospects for that don't really look all that great. So that's kind of the status quo. Unfortunately there's not really anything interesting to report. There's unfortunately not really a lot of super good opportunities coming up. But there is still some opportunities for the CSGO market to still rebound and go upward. There is one more sort of interesting thing and that has to do with non-fungible tokens or NFTs. But I'm actually going to make a separate video on that altogether relating to CSGO. So if you guys are interested in a discussion on that, that's going to be coming up soon. So to give a direct answer on should you buy this dip, I personally think that you absolutely should. Prices are really cheap right now, and they've gone down a lot lower than I would have even expected, and they've actually continued to go down as well. So if there is going to be positive economic activity in the future for CSGO, which does look like it's on the horizon, there could be some big profits to be made here. Other than that, there's not much else to say on this topic. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to check out that subscription button down below, and of course, click it and click the notification bell to make sure you don't miss an upload and get all of your news from the best source available for CSGO investing on YouTube. Also, be sure to check out that like button if you want to go ahead and thank me for the funny memes in the beginning or something like that. That'll be really, really appreciated. And of course, make sure you can fight against the dislike bots that unfortunately have plagued some of my videos. I also have a Discord server and a Twitter that you can check out with the links in the description below, and of course you can check out Skinport for all your cheap CSGO skin options, also in the description below. Thank you guys for taking time out of your day to come spend it with me, really appreciate the support, see y'all next time, peace. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? You're supposed to click this button, you animal. I will destroy your profits.